Hello. Well, it's official. Uh, State Representative Bill DeWeese, uh, Democrat from Waynesburg, representing the 50th District, will not be able to get out on uh, bail. Of course, he had been uh, found guilty uh, this past uh, winter, past February, of uh, election, basically election fraud for uh, allowing uh, campaign uh, his taxpayer paid workers to work on his campaign, which is against the law. And then he was sentenced, uh, basically a two to five year prison sentence. And he had been hoping to get out on bail pending his appeal. And of course, he's up for re-election. He is on the ballot as we speak. So uh, now he's going to have to be campaigning from prison. And um, this is something that uh, should be of concern to everybody, in uh, particularly residents of the 50th District. Uh, you can almost hear the uh, jokes that are going to be made and uh, kind of the laughter and, and that sort of thing, you know, to have a candidate actually campaigning from, from prison. Um, and uh, the, the really sad thing is, is that he basically, if he wins the election, he will not be able to serve unless his appeal is heard and uh, his conviction overturned. But that, the thing is, is appeals typically take at least a year, sometimes two years. So the idea that somehow this um, appeal is going to be heard, number one, before uh, the November election or before the uh, January uh, whenever he would take office, it's it's a very very extreme long shot. And then two that the conviction would be overturned is probably even a bigger long shot. So the reality is is now Bill DeWeese will be campaigning from prison, and if he does win the election, he won't be able to take office, and there probably won't be a representative in the 50th district. In all probability, they would just schedule a special election next May as part of the um, election to, to be held next uh, next May, and there would be a, a candidate selected at that uh, election. So already, since he was uh, sentenced, there hasn't been a representative for the 50th district. So you could have conceivably, the 50th district could be without a representative for an entire year, um, just because Bill DeWeese does not want to step down. Now there is time, he still does have some time here, <clears throat> he has until the middle of August where he could step down and then the uh, Democratic leaders for Green Washington and Fayette County would get together and pick a replacement, but is this something that uh, the bill is going to do? I guess we'll see in the coming months, will he be able to put the interests and concerns of the uh, residents of the 50th 50th district ahead of his own. And of course this all could have been avoided once he was found guilty. If he would have stepped down then, um, there would have been a pro in all probability a special election and a regular election. The special election would have been for somebody to serve the rest of the term for, for this year and then you would have had a primary election and regular general election. You would have had somebody actually running for to see who does have a chance to actually serve in, in the seat. But Bill, of course, chose not to step down at this point, and, you know, we, we just really don't know what his uh, plans are, and it's going to be very interesting to uh, see what happens in the coming, uh, coming months ahead. But certainly campaigning from prison uh, will certainly be a new thing in the annals of uh, lawmakers getting... Uh, getting in trouble with the law. So uh, stay tuned, we'll be right back. At theheraldstandard.com, our mission is to provide news, information, and services to enable our communities to prosper. Every day, we strive to achieve this goal through three dynamic products. Wake up each morning to a copy of the heraldstandard.com newspaper delivered to your home. Enjoy the e-edition and exact replica of our print product on your computer, tablet, or smartphone. Or secure unlimited access to our full coverage digital news site online at heraldstandard.com. One local news leader, three great options. Okay, so we are talking in the first part about Bill DeWeese and about how he's been denied bail by the uh, 
Pennsylvania Supreme Court. No comment, uh, just no no bill for, for Bill. So we want to hear what you have to say, and you can certainly uh, email us your, your comments. At, uh, send a letter to uh, mokeefe at heraldstandard.com, or you can send it to 8-18 Church Street, Uniontown, PA, 15401. And just remember that um, all letters must be signed, and um, you have to give a phone number so that we can verify it. So look forward to hearing what you have to say. My name is Mark O'Keefe. I'm executive editor for HeraldStandard.com. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you later.